Okay, it's the Watch What Happens Live After Show. It's Andy. I'm here with CeeLo and Big Ange and our little leprechaun. Yeah. For, uh, for, yeah. And we've got some cream soda and red wine, which we're going to try, yeah, which good. is Big Ange's drink. It's good. I know. It is. Oh, she knows. It is. It's odd. And Big Ange is trying uh, CeeLo's sake. sake. You like it? Yeah. Yes, you like it. Okay, very good. I love it. Um, and I we, so love it. When we ended the show, I was just mentioning you're in residency at Planet Hollywood in Vegas. That's what right. does that mean? You're gonna. That means an extended, very long exactly. period of shows. It means an extended stay. I thought you were like. It's like the Celine Dion of Planet Hollywood, basically. Oh. Well, see, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be like some young, fresh, new talent. Yes, you know what I mean? Yes, like, you know, yes. and it's, it's pretty much a milestone achievement for someone of my age and, and, and newly found success. You know, so Las Vegas is embracing me, and it's great. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. So it's in the planet, in that theater of Planet Hollywood? That's right. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Well, going that's to where Vegas. I hosted the Miss USA pageant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I well, played that stage. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Big Ange is going to Vegas. Big Ange, we should bottle this. This is delicious. Isn't it good? Yeah. With the meatballs and the raviolis. <laughs> How did you discover it? It's just been in your family forever? Yeah. My father used to always drink it when we ate. Yeah. Wow. People okay. think I'm crazy when I say, bring me cream soda. What? <laughs> okay, we have another phone call. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, this is Francesca from New York City. Hey, Francesca, what's your question? Um, I wanted to know, Big Ange, what's the most extravagant gift you've ever received from a wise guy? A big, beautiful mansion on the water. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Nice. Wow. That's is that that's a good that's beach a good, front house. Wow, beach that front. I don't have any more. Oh, you don't? Why? What happened uh, to it? Couldn't afford it. He died. Oh no, he oh, died and you couldn't afford it. No. I'm sorry. It what happens? That's what happens. <laughs> is that what happens? Yeah, easy come, easy go. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> All right. You live on Staten Island, right? Yeah. yeah. Obviously. How long have you lived on Staten Island? Eight years. Eight years. You love it? No, I hate it. Oh, you do. <laughs> That's funny. I'm a uh, Brooklyn girl. I know, you're a Brooklyn, Brooklyn? girl. Brooklyn? Brooklyn girl. Um, all right, very good. Uh, Katie from Charlotte wants to know, who is CeeLo's greatest style or fashion inspiration? Uh, it's, it's a tie between Elton John and Liberace. I like it. And that's the name of your show at Planet Hollywood. It's yeah. called? Loberace. Loberace? Yeah. CeeLo, Liberace, Cee Lo Liberace. I like it. Yeah, I like it. That's cool. I'm cool. Um, Blair from North Carolina wants to know, what's your favorite mafia movie, Big Ange? Oh, Godfather, of course. OK. <laughs> um, Siva from Georgia says, CeeLo, is Goody Mob going to have another album? Yes, we're actually working on a reunion album as we speak. And we're, all, we're well into it. You, you should hear some new music from us uh, before the year's out. Very cool. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Alexandra from Washington, D.C. says, Big Ange, who would you rather, Al Pacino or Robert De Niro? Al Pacino. <laughs> okay. Bliss George said, uh, CeeLo, what do you think of SNL's getting freaky with CeeLo sketch? Any of it based on truth? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely King Freak. <laughs> Are you King Freak? Yes. Okay. But, but you know what? What's co so cool about this particular episode? You know, you made it when SNL gives you a yes. scoop, right? Right. So it was very, it's very uh, rewarding, if you will, for lack of a better word. It was, it was great. But I just happened to be in New York, and um, my manager said that, uh, "Yo, Adam is performing on SNL. You guys want to go down and support?" I was like, "Of course." So we went down to just watch. Adam and the guys do, you know, Oh, and you didn't that. even know that I was going to happen? They were gonna, and, and Lauren Michaels opened up his office for us to kind of sit and watch right, it. Right, right. And uh, it was like, I saw on his bulletin board, like, CeeLo sketch. I'm like, what's that? You know what I'm saying? So That's so, cool. It, it was a really, really cool surprise. What a fun night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, speaking of uh, how freaky you are, Amanda from Chicago texted <laughs> and wants to know what your freak number is. 69. 69. <laughs> Mine's 68, I owe you one. Uh. <laughs> 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 um, 
Jason from San Francisco said, Big Ange, if you could trade a member of your Mob Wives cast for a Real Housewife of New Jersey, who would you switch and why? Do you know any of the Jersey Housewives? Not really. No. That's what I was just going to say. So what? I don't know them. You don't, you don't know them. All right. That's cool. Do you? Oh, uh, Latifah. <laughs> the one on it. I'll pick it. Latifah from Missouri wants to know if you know Victoria Gotti. Um, I know her family, and I know of her, and I did meet her once or twice. Like her? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, what are you going to say? You, you can't stand her? I like her. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, Queen of Brendan tweeted and said, CeeLo, um, tell us about your cat. I mean, how long have you had, um, I'm, tr I'm trying to remember the name of your cat. Perfect, right? Perfect. Perfect. With three R's. With three R's. How long have you had Perfect? I've, I've had Perfect um, a little less than a year. Right. And uh, I just really thought that it would be a cool idea to invite the cat on the show. And, you know. <laughs> the cat I, accepted. Yeah. <laughs> She definitely accepted, and uh, she's becoming quite a sensation all on her own. I know. And, uh, Forty thousand followers on Twitter later. It's just like crazy. Very good. Yeah. Every animal has a Twitter account. It's incredible. Yeah, she she has an iPod. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Um, um, your fashion doll tweeted and said, "Is Big Angie's voice raspy from smoking, or is it naturally raspy?" Probably from a mixture of everything, working in bars, yelling, smoking. Right. I'm actually having a thyroid problem right now. Oh, I'm going to no. remove it this month. They're going to remove it this month. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you still smoke? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you smoke, Big Ash? More red. More red? The long brown cigarettes like this. I yeah. love it. 37 years. Okay. 37 years, Big Ange. You go. You go. <laughs> From my father again. Wow, your father really, he got the cream soda and, and red the, wine. And the more. And the more cigarettes. Wow. Ooh. How to keep it going, you know? What do you watch on TV, Big Ange? I, last time I watched TV, I watched Kojak. <laughs> <laughs> so it was he a smoked the more reds. <laughs> I mean, you never watch TV. Then. I don't watch TV. Okay. CeeLo, what I do you watch on TV? You know, I'm in the bar. I can't. You know right. what? I, I can relate to that. I, I don't watch a lot of TV myself, but um, I do enjoy Family Guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, uh, and American yeah. Dad. And I, I, I enjoy Adult Swim. Uh-huh. You know, so stuff like uh, Squid Billies and stuff like that. So it's funny. Do you watch American Idol? No. No. Have you? <laughs> did you ever watch it? I can honestly say I've never watched an entire episode of American Idol. What about X Factor? Uh, no. But uh, have you ever worked with L.A.? Yeah, I was actually, uh, I was, my first record deal was through L.A. and Babyface. Uh, when they came to Atlanta in 1993, uh, we were signed to LaFace Records. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Now, have you ever, do you know Candy Burris, or have you I ever? I do, I do. I mean, Candy are good friends. Is that right? Mm-hmm. She's talented. Very. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so how long have you been out of Atlanta? For the last year or so. Just for the last year? Yeah, well, I guess technically for the last five or six years because of just extensive touring with Nars Barkley and then yeah. I kind of rolled right into this whole new solo thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is there so much talent in Atlanta? What is it about that town that... Now, I've, I've, I've on occasion answered this question by saying there must be something in the sweet tea. <laughs> Very good. And they serve the tea in Atlanta. Have you seen uh, Housewives of Atlanta at all? Yeah, I just watched the episode of it while we were waiting to come Oh, in. you did? Yeah. Oh, very good. All right. Um, well, I want to thank both of you for being here. Everybody's loving the voice, and this sake is really good. It's called, again? Tycoon. Tycoon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excellent. Big Ange, it's so fun having you. How do you like the sake? I love Tycoon. Oh, she loves it. <laughs> Little Leprechaun, thank you very much for being here. For more with everybody, click around, bravotv.com. We'll see you later, everybody.